Do you ever wonder which paintbrushes you should use? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you four basic tools that you can find pretty much around the house that's really gonna improve your art coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video, we're gonna give you some top tips, four top tips on the best equipment that you should be using. And none of these are actually brushes. In fact, a lot of them you can find around the household. So we're gonna go straight into the video. Here's top tip number one. So first tip I wanna show you, and the tip that I think everyone should be using when it comes to painting is a basic sponge. These things are fantastic for blending paint together, whether it's a small area like this, where you're just doing perhaps an ocean scene, to a larger area where you're working on a wall mural that, that I did recently, when I was actually painting a Bob Ross painting. The other thing these are fantastic for is actually adding some highlight detail. So you can see in this painting here, where I'm just showing the reflections of the moon hitting the ocean, and you can really pick up some gorgeous highlights. The other great thing with sponges is, of course, they come in various sizes. This is a much larger sponge, which is fantastic for adding texture. Or you could just take the corner of this sponge here and actually recreate your own version of a sponge brush. Sponge brushes are brilliant for painting trees with, so this will actually enable you to do some really, really quick and easy but effective trees. Tip number two is a shower cleaner, just like this. One of these squeegees where you clean the sides of your glass. These are literally $2 just down the local store. They are absolutely fantastic when it comes to distributing paint. So if you've got a really flat background, what I mean by flat is where your paint isn't tonal. These things are fantastic for covering large areas really, really quickly. Tip number three, just a basic tissue. So something like this, or a cloth if you want to be a bit more environmentally friendly. They are absolutely brilliant for adding texture. So I like to just make a little flower shape out of them like this. And then you can literally dab your paint on. You can either do dabs, you can do swirls. They are just really good for maneuvering paint around and just getting really quick and easy backgrounds. And then tip number four, this is just a basic palette knife. A lot of people will use these just for painting anyway. However, a lot of people are also very scared of using these guys. Personally, these should be in your basic tools, even if it's not to actually paint with, for two reasons. Firstly, they actually remove any mistakes really easily. You're never gonna get rid of the background completely, but they just help to really scrape off any excess paint, and it means that you don't have to wait things to dry off before you can work over that area again. The second thing that these are fantastic for, and I've done a video recently showing this technique, is again through paint removal. So I've just done this very simple blue background that you can see here, and by using this palette knife, all I'm doing is simply removing that blue to reveal the white background, and you can just create the most fantastic mountain effects so, so easily just by removing it with the palette knife. So there you have it guys, four basic techniques, four tools that is gonna help anybody improve their painting skills. The whole point of this channel is showing you that painting can be a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be stressful. Just by a couple of techniques that you can learn or just using the right tools for certain equipment or just by using the right tools for certain techniques, you can make your painting so much easier. If you have enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button just below, guys, as it really does help our channel. And if you would like to see more weekly top tips just like this, then hit that subscription button and the notification bell just below. Alrighty, guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.